There's a jungle loud. There's a there's a there's a jungle loud. Crying out loud. There's a there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come win plain. It's the last thing on our minds. Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying. Be safe when you're home. Be safe when you're street. It's a cold place and I'm nearly feeling the heat. I never wear cold cause summer's always beeping by the fender. Still crying much came and give TNT confidence. I had a dream in the dark. I had a dream in the spring. I had a dream. I had a dream like my new There's thing. a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. Yo, there's a jungle loud, there's a, there's a, there's a jungle loud, crying out loud, there's a, there's a, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on, a jungle out there and the hunt is on, we're gonna hunt you down, we're gonna hunt you down, we're gonna come win plain, it's the last thing on our mind, stop crying much if you really, really Wanna stop crying? Be safe when you're home. Be safe when you're street. It's a cold place and I'm nearly feeling the heat. I never wear cold cause summer's always beeping by the fence. I still cry much came and give TNT confidence. I had a dream in the dark. I had a dream in the spring. I had a dream. I had a dream like my new There's thing. a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. Yo, there's a jungle loud, there's a, there's a, there's a jungle loud, crying out loud, there's a, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on, a jungle out there and the hunt is on, we're gonna hunt you down, we're gonna hunt you down, we're gonna come win plain, it's the last thing on our minds, stop crying much if you really, really Wanna stop crying? Be safe when you're home. Be safe when you're street. It's a cold place and I'm nearly feeling the heat. I never wear cold cause summer's always beeping by the fender. Still crying, much came and give TNT confidence. I had a dream in the dark. I had a dream in the spring. I had a dream. I had a dream like my new day. There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. Yo, there's a jungle loud, there's a, there's a, there's a jungle loud, crying out loud, there's a, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on, a jungle out there and the hunt is on, we're gonna hunt you down, we're gonna hunt you down, we're gonna come win plain, it's the last thing on our mind, stop crying much if you really, really Wanna stop crying? Be safe when you're home. Be safe when you're street. It's a cold place and I'm nearly feeling the heat. I never wear cold cause summer's always beeping by the fence. I still cry much came and give TNT confidence. I had a dream in the dark. I had a dream in the spring. I had a dream. I had a dream like my new day. There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. Jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come win plain. It's the last thing on our minds. Stop crying much if you really, really. Wanna stop crying? Be safe when you're home. Be safe when you're street. It's a cold place and I'm nearly feeling the heat. I never wear cold cause summer's always beeping by the fence. I still cry much came and give TNT confidence. I had a dream in the dark. I had a dream in the spring. I had a dream. I had a dream like my new day. There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna. Hi, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ian Allen. This is Crime Watcher. We are back. Top of the evening to you. All those of you are locked online, especially good evening to you. All those of you are looking at me from all over the world, especially good evening to you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's a rainy day in Friday. I'd like to say it's a rainy night in Georgia. Well, it's a rainy night. It's a rainy evening in um, Trinidad right now. In fact, I just had lunch. Um, I just had like, a fast, just something fast to eat with my good friend, Balat Mirage, and... Um, and um, Rajiv Dipner ain't sing, and you know, we're just chatting and whatnot. And but, nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, we are I am here, and I'm here, and we are live. All those of you are locked on all over the world, all those of you who reach from religious here on a Friday from London, from New York, from Miami, from Brooklyn, from Queens, from Astoria all these places, and you reach home and you put on that computer or you have downloaded the app, I want to say a special good evening to you. I want to say a special good evening to you. And we are here. There's a lot to tell you today, a lot, a lot to talk about, you know. Um, I, saw, I, I know we have information about the Mahasaba and the statement made and uh, whatnot with respect to the... And I will give you my views with respect to that. It's not, it's, it, I'm, I'm, I'm not against anybody, but I want to give you my views with respect to what took place with, with, with the worshippers 
at the temple in, my, in, in, in the Freeport area. And I want to talk about that and I was saying to Ruba, somebody asked me, what's really your views? Do you, do you believe that it's drunk people that did that, did that? It's not a matter they are drunk. And I'll show you how people can divert attention and divert the attention. I mean, but I'll tell you about all that. But let me tell you something. There's nobody know it better than me. There's nobody. There's nobody. There's nobody. There's nobody knows it, know it better than me. And I know ball. That ball where, where, where the Prime Minister said that he totally agrees with the honorable, with, with, with the, the, um, the opposition leader. Let me tell you something. That is to divert the attention because he's not going to, because public servants not going to get their back pay. So you had to, so, something like that, they, 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 they are saying that they do, yeah, they cannot pay, right. So now just, just imagine this, just imagine, he can say what he wants, he can say what he wants, but let me tell you something, he's saying now the PS, but let me tell you something, the PS would make the, the minister of, the, the, the minister, the minister of, 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 of finance wouldn't make a statement like that because they are persons, he would be lazy with the PS, they, 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 they will know how much money allocated for each, if, for each ministry, but if, we, if, okay, just so you can't pay, just so you can't pay the, the public servants, and you're saying that the PS, but you're going to try, and they're going to say next year and whatnot. Let me tell you something. Well, then, don't take money for us for electricity when you send up the bill. Yeah, I know, but... I know, but nevertheless, nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, that is what's happening right now. And very interesting, very, very interesting, is that He's saying that, but as somebody was telling me today, that if the Prime Minister can't give public servants their money and say that the PS, the PS saying that, we, we, that the, 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 gov, the, the country can only afford that money next year, and he's going to try, he's going to try to see what he can do. Well then, think about us, you're going to charge us a big electricity bill, you're gonna, we're going to pay property tax, we can't pay it, so if you can be lenient, with the public servants. Why you can't be lenient? Um, if you're gonna to try to be lenient and understand what the PS is saying, but think about us, we can't pay, we can't pay property tax if the business community is not paying property tax. We can't pay property tax because you're looking to you, you you are coming after us, you are coming after the poor people, you are coming those who have those, those, those who have buildings that partially with concrete and wood, and you're coming for them to pay big tax, but nevertheless the 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 business community in each uh, each corporation they don't have to pay I, I no problem with that but everybody should have their chance to pay everybody should have their chance to pay so but nevertheless we'll talk about that ladies and gentlemen um a shooting at a wake in Capuchima claimed the lives of three men and injured three others earlier on friday today the deceased were identified as Tatiel keston lawrence also known as big shane of lamont street londonville 32 year old Dwayne Charles of Enterprise Chagonas and 40 year old Francis Monroe of Arena Road, Freeport. Again, a shooting at a wake in Carbuchima claimed the lives of three men and injured three others early on Friday. The deceased were identified as 30 year old Keston Lawrence, also known as Big Shane of Lamont Street, Londonville, 32 year old Dwayne Charles of Enterprise at Chagonas and 40 year old Francis Monroe. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, also, it, well, this happened around 12 35 a.m. The victims were at a wake of a 40-year-old man who died of natural causes at the corner of Perseverance Road and Orangefield Road. When gunmen ap appeared from a nearby truck and began shooting, the group scattered in an attempt to escape the hail of bullets. However, six persons sustained gunshot injuries. Lawrence, Charles, and Monroe died at the scene. Just imagine that. They died at the scene while others, the other injured victims were taken to Coover District Hospital. So imagine you can't even go awake. You go into a wake of a normal man who died and gunmen opening fire on our wake and that is why ladies and gentlemen you have to be careful when you're going out there and you're going to a wake or whatnot you have to be real careful you have to be real real careful going to a wake you have to be real careful hi caller good evening you're live on crime watch we want to take some calls all those of you who have downloaded the app all those of you who are looking at me from all over the world a special good evening to you again this is breaking news three person died at a wake in Carpichaima. And let me tell you something, you know where that wake was? Right opposite, right opposite where this guy, where this guy, this, um, 
this young fellow was killed in a home invasion right opposite remember the guy who was killed and his wife is a, a, a lawyer the Capuchima murder, right opposite, right opposite. That's why I tell you today, every square foot, every square foot, every square foot of that, what, 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 what was his name? Darren Landlord, not meters away from where Darren Landlord was killed. Right across the road, right across the road. That's what I tell you, everybody, everybody, every, I tell you, right across the road where this boy live, right across the road where he had gone down, he, um, and that is so sad. That is so sad. I can imagine how his wife doing on way, boy. But nevertheless, right across the road. Right across the road. They have a wake and three people. Gunmen storm the wake, shoot up the whole wake. What about ladies and gentlemen if they had children here? What about if, 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 if people were just, I mean, at in late, late 25 to 1 people playing little cards. Some of you who live in New York, some of you living away, understand the culture of the Caribbean. When there's a wake, people go. People, they make a big cup of, of, of coffee, let's say, and we all know. Uh, well, in Trinidad, I don't know if you have it in the Caribbean, too. A nice cup of black coffee, hung wing, yeah? Hung wing coffee, you pass around the... Yeah, a big pot, somebody building, making a big pot of coffee to the back. Those white syrotex, you're drinking your, 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 your black coffee. Let's spend, now they have sandwich and pastries and cake and things, but in normal week, you pass around a little biscuit and cheese. And you know, and you're, you're watching the zone, you're everybody talking, the people here see long time, where you're going, boy, where's the latest? Well, I see them come and show my face, and gunmen just come, open, six people get shot, three dead. There yeah, are six people among them, right? Among them, six persons got, got shot also. See, yeah. And, and three died. Hi, caller, good evening, your life on Crime Watch. Go ahead. Yeah, Hi, good afternoon, Sarah. Good afternoon, yeah. Yeah, Mr. Allen, I am confused. I am a public servant. Uh, I sat and I watched the budget debate from right, beginning to end. And, uh, the minister said they have the money, right. they set aside the, the money, body, thank you. and they will pay the money. They never said they had to look for the money. They said no, they have he it, said he can't pay it. And they set aside it. Apparently, he had it in a big coca's bag, and they can't find the bag. So no. they have to go and look for it next year now. He said right? that it's yes. lies. It's just lies. And the Prime Minister fronting to make it look like he care. It's lies. It's just lies. That is all it is. But let me Thank tell you, you something. Much. Thank you again. But he's saying that the PS is saying that the government cannot pay. But they said they allocated the money to pay. Right. Don't bother, watch me. He can say what he wants. He said the PS tell him, the permanent secretary, se secretary said, look, we can't pay till next year. But let me tell you something. All that, but, but him, the PS don't run the show. And, and cabinet make a promise. If, if you don't have the money to pay, boy, it have a, watch me. Let me tell you something. Them looking for a ball. He looking for opportunity. It is a good ball to have inside. It's a good trump card that if something should happen, Lego money. So all so whatever, they will keep that as a trump card, eh? They will keep that as a trump card. You remember for local, I think it was local government. You remember the night, you remember during the weekend they sent out checks? Right, they said they will do this, they will do that. But nevertheless, nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen. Nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, and the caller is right. It's a lie. It's a, it's a, you, if, if the Minister of Finance say, here we're going on, we're going to pay. Or you can come and tell me, or you can come and tell me weeks after, well, the PS say, we are the money, and sometime in May. But let me tell you something. Let me show, let, let me show you the shot in that. There's nobody... Nobody understand damage control and PR like me. Nobody. I know it like a science. You know what is on everybody's mind right now? All on social media? It's how the prime minister agrees with the opposition leader. 
It's how the Prime Minister agrees with the opposition leader, where you all have that statement made by the opposition leader where she said she want to believe that, that the persons who vandalized the, the temple and think it's drunk people or something like that. Where is it? Right. This is, what the, this is what the opposition leader said. Opposition, our countries where temple, mosques, and churches are peacefully situated next to each other, sharing car park service facilities and recreational spaces. We all celebrate and partake in each other religious festival and celebration across polit and any political, ethnic, race, or social class line. Therefore, it is dangerous to our society, peace, and civil stability when intellectually lazy allegations of hate crimes, religious intolerance are thrown out. And um, well, she's saying that that recently there have been cri uh, crimes at some Hindu temple, but must be viewed as isolation and attack of Hindu is in just assumption. So they were just saying about churches and whatnot, but mosques and whatnot. The fact, we're obvious, hold on. But what she's saying is not hate crime, but. Let me tell you something, whether you like it or not. I want you all to pose this. Pose this right now. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Nobody back and alley, nobody. How somebody could be praying in Freeport and people go and pell along, along the temple? Where is that? There are people who just, just don't like Hindu people. Plain and, plain and simple. They just don't like them. And vice versa. You have all kind of people who don't like Christianity, that all kind of people who don't like Muslim. But that, 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 that should not be tolerated. And that is total disrespect. Total disrespect. You can be praying in a temple and people can mash up your car glass. That is a serious thing. That is a very serious thing. We have the right to worship. The freedom to be, 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 be free to express our belief and whatnot. You can't look, look, look and, and, and um, there have been crimes against temples. But, and also, the, in fact, in July this year, the Church of Assumption Parish Office in Marava was broken into previously. There was robberies of vandalism at St. Benedict's Monastery, San Rafael RC Church, St. Francis Assisi RC Church, and the Claxton Bay Seven Days Adventist Church, among others. They have had robberies and vandalism at Mosque Sandy Grandi, Carapo, Table Land, to list a few. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, let's talk about recent. Why would somebody go, when this is a very auspicious time for the Hindus, why would somebody go and vandalize the, the, the Rawan? Why would you go and do that in Teruba and burn it up? That is wickedness. That is not drunk people. That is wickedness. What I like, that is wickedness. That is, that is pure wickedness. A Hindu are doing that. A Hindu person not doing that. I can put me like on a block. I don't believe that. Why would you go do that? If you follow with somebody, you wouldn't do that. Or you follow some member of the community, in the committee for that, you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't go and pelt, pelt somebody on top of a temple, pelt stone on top of the temple, and mash up people's glass in an arm um, thing. Freeport. But those are serious things. And it must be, and, and, and I think the Mahasabha made a statement. People must have their freedom to, to, and their freedom for worship. And that is a serious thing. That is a serious thing. But I tell you, Rowley you know, the Prime Minister knows how to divert attention. He coming out and saying that we can't pay public servant again, we're not too sure, you know. The PS say we can't find our money. All attention will be on that. All attention. But when he comes out and say, look at how much critical issues in the last few, in the last years, seven years, how much years? Since 2016, affecting this country. And how much recommendations, recommendation the opposition made. All of a sudden now, I agree with what the opposition said, and that is not a hate crime. So everybody running this, your role is. Yes? He agreed with it. That just to divert the attention from the fact that public servant money in jeopardy now. When the Minister of, when, when, when the minister of, of, of Finance said that we're going to pay it. 
That is all. Whether you like it or not. You have pick inside, but that is what that, that is what that, that is what it is. That is an ace and ace and a spade and a spade. Hi caller, good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Hey Ian, good evening. Good evening. I, I just want to bring up something to for the for the public to listen to. Um I'm calling you from the city, the city of San Fernando. Uh. Uh, and you, you know we had nine days of no water because of the plant was down. Yeah, the salination it, plant. Yes, they, and they, so they gave us one day of water, no problem. And for the past six days, La Romaine, Gulf View, Bel Air, San, in the city of San Fernando, we have no, no water, water in the taps. Uh, imagine that. So nine days no water, one day water, and five days now no water. You know, and, and this is a constant problem we face in this, across this, this, this island, you know. But they're always talking about the city and the city, and we have no water in La Romaine. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I just wanted to mention it to you, so maybe some, some, some joker out there might listen and, you know, open the tap now. Have a good evening, brother. So true, you see? You know, it's nine days without water. You can't flush your toilet. And, I am the, and what about the persons? And that's why I tell you, that's why I tell you, they don't care about poor people. They don't care about the small man. And I'm not going to say a person of lesser shores. Because that's the better word to you. I wait to understand it. They don't care about poor people. Because what about the person who, who people live in our house, they have a little small tank, and they have a flush toilet. And, and the feces, human feces are the pilot when they make one flush. What about that? What about you can't wash wares? What about you have to go by your, by your sister somewhere quite or quite to and bathe? What about that? You know what you say, live without water? And nine days people live in the city, and big money spending all in back in, 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 in back of the day, all, all about the place. Faris jumping from here to there. By sure, sure Faris might be have a hundred and one tank in the house. But you don't have a tank. But when people like us talk, they don't like me. Because you know what? Ian Allen is po why political. I'm not political. No, I'm not political. The writing is the writing. Nobody cares about the poor people in this country at all, at all. Nine days without water in the city. The, and the caller is right. All in Gulf, you all about. But not everybody have. Everybody can buy a, a pump. A pump is about 2,000, 2,500. And a big tank is about a thousand. You understand? That is crazy. I call it good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Okay, guys, I have no water since last week. Where? Okay, guys, in Pleasantville, I have no water since last week. Since last week, Orchard Gardens. What about persons living up in the apartment? Huh? Oh, do have none. 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 How are they living? Could somebody tell me how they're living? Nobody cares. Nobody cares. And people don't understand that nobody cares. Nobody want to hear them. Nobody want to hear them. And that's why I can stand and who don't like it too bad. Who don't like it too bad. I can tell anybody vandalize the raw one, it could never be right in the head. Anybody fell down the temple, there's something wrong with them. What about people who go on in and when, when last they vandalized the Murti and them? Twice. Recently they vandalized a temple, much. And Cali Bay, get the dates. They're drunk people. They're not drunk people. They hate crime. they people because they just say, a Hindu would not do that. And you are all the drunk people drunk. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. All the drunk people drunk. And who like rum? You see the Wali there? Boy. All the drunk, they're drunk. They might drink after 12, the Wali there. But you see that there? They don't play that. They don't play that. They go bail. They go shave and they go one like the little deer. Some of them, they like the meat and they like the rum. A day before the wali, or my, my, maybe they can't handle it. So they go bat. When I say bat, well, they go take a drink the day before the wali. But you see the wali, they partner, they don't play that. They don't play that. They don't play that. And that goes for every religion. Not everybody could fast in time of, for Eid and whatnot. But it are people who might just say, well, on the day for the Eid, I think I'll go a little mosque, I'll, I'll fast. Only God knows your heart, you know. I, I, I always know that. I don't have to fast to please people and say I'm in a fast and go here and go there and say I'm in a fast. God knows my heart. Because sometimes you're fasting and you're, you're, your mind dirty. You're fasting, but you're talking to your own brother. You're fasting, but you're talking to your mother. You understand? What sense you fast? Look at in September, well, in September, Williamsville Temple. Look at the vandalizing people temple. 
That, that has nothing to do with watch who, who will do that? Who will do that? I am not a Hindu. I am not a Hindu. But if you bring the person, I will eat it. Like I was telling Sunita last night. Watch. Look at... Right. Who will throw acid on the Murti? Who will do that? And what, what they shall eat? Right. You got, you man, the man said, give a kiss for that. You got a kiss, but I'll tell him I'll give him your number. He asked me for your number. He called me back. He told me your number. Hi, caller. Good evening. To each his own. Hi, hi, Mr. Ian Allen. Good hi. evening. Good evening. Uh, I would like to let you know Linton Gardens have no water for three weeks. Where is it? What gardens is that? Linton Gardens. That is going up on the old road. When you reach... And get to the top, that is Linton Garden. Which old road? And when I reach the top, what road is that? Oh, uh, you know the um, old road in um, uh, um, before Red Hill, boy. That is a Rima. Yes, in Linton. It has some big houses. The 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 P and M and them put up there too. That is not by the foothills. Not by the foothill. Higher up. I know the foothills in Arima. It has it has Linton Garden number one and it has Linton Garden number two. The one in number one have no water for three weeks, Mr. Ian Allen. And then that's some bacchanal man that, that dig up some drain and divert the, the water there. It don't have water. The children can't bathe. They have, can't wash. They can't wash their dishes. They can't cook. Three weeks now. And what it is really wrong with this Gonzal man, Mr. Ian Allen? He's skinning his face all over the place. And people are getting, and you have to, and he said you have to pay water rate. Yeah, thank you. Thank Mr. you. Yen. Thank you, ma'am. Three weeks. Three weeks, sir. Three weeks. Ladies and gentlemen, we're on an island, sir, with 1.4 million. We are surrounded by water. We have one desalination plant. I remember the then CEO of Wasa. What was his name? He didn't see you, Awasa. Shulan. Shepard. He told me a day. He said the amount of reservoirs we can create. And he had, he had, he had that man called Shulan, Shepard, had identified areas where we could create a dam or repair the pumps or do pump house, pump houses where it costs $500,000 and it's cheaper to do it for two fifty. dollars Yeah, look the guy there. So I tell you, I know people. Now this is no way to discredit nobody else who's currently there. But when I listened to him and he said he had identified areas that people in the East West Corridor like Arima, the, the foothills and whatnot, Linton Gardens and so, could get water, we could have come up with those plans. We could convert the sea water, um, thing the pump the sea water and do what we have to do and come up with something. If we could send a man in the moon. But here is only ranks. Let me tell you what here is like. A for apple, B for bat, and C about yourself. When I reach where I go, in, the hell was with you. I go buy a new car. When I reach parliament, the same new car for one million. When I reach parliament, I go pay 300000 because it's tax break. You down there, go pay a million feet. But you send me here, you know. I didn't come an MP. I didn't put a gun to nobody's head to make me MP, you know. You down there sent me up here. You sent me to parliament. You sent me to parliament to represent you. But when I reach up here, here what's going on? I have to shut you down now. So here what's going on? I'm going to give imposed property tax. I'm going to make sure you get your public, public servants to get the money. I'm going to come with all kinds of shots. I'm going to drive the best car. I'm going to cut real flick. And you down there will still suffer. And that is exactly what is happening. But that is why I tell you today, one day for police and one day for thief. One day for police and one day for thief. You understand? You're telling me times like this. Hold a second. We're going through. We don't have, people don't have, um, people don't have, water for three weeks not everybody can what, what about if you live in an apartment building high-rise building an agc building and there's no water you can imagine could anybody just imagine what these people are going through but remember all the head honchos and them 
had a four or five thousand gallon pump tank home. They have to pump it with big tank to push it upstairs, and they're good. Why well, care about you? People have to understand water problem is not government fault. You know, people have to understand water problem is not government fault. Just imagine that. That is their excuse. But you have to come up with ideas. How to stop this? You can't be living and are we spending. Look at our budget in the billions. Ministry gain 10 billion. This ministry gain 8 billion. How am how are dollar going to me? What really going on in this place? People attacking police. People attacking, people shooting at a, a deputy commissioner at a prison. Prison driver getting shot. Police under attack. What really going on? And when you talk, everybody vexing them. You're political. No, it's not, you know, it's not a matter you're political. The Wally coming. The Wally coming. Christmas coming. Business people have to be frightened. Business people can't wait to watch out the road. Where you work out and you buy a gold band and you buy a ring. You understand? I don't want to call, I don't want to call nobody who, are, who do jewelry. When we get advertisers who advertise in jewelry, stop, I'll call the name. So people don't want to live life. You even, when you go to Miami and you go to South Beach and thing, you can live on your bracelet. Of course, you'll be careful, but you can walk and you know, you relax, you sit down, eat ice cream. You have drinks, you go to a restaurant, you cross the road. You drift, you eat again, or you go down to New York, Times Square, you stop, you eat a pizza, so bad, it's so bad. What's the name of the pizza? So bad, what? The Sabro pizza. You walk again, you, 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 eat, you eat a hot dog, you walk again, you walk over to Madame Tucson's studio, you watch, you have a popcorn in your hand, you sit down, somebody draw you. And then you walk, then you walk back to your hotel, or you take a train. Well, you have to be careful because it's all kind of personality you're dealing with. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Mr. Allen, great uh. job, man. You're a God bless fellow you sent on, uh, you know, from time to time, a great soul walk the face of the earth. You is one of them that in Trinidad, and I know you will fix this country. You're very time passionate in. about it. In our time in. Mr. Mr. Allen, you always say, the national anthem say every creed and race find an equal, equal place. place. I want the citizens of this country and the world to look and see this country is run at this moment like Uganda, you know, under Idi Amin rule, you know. Look and see the evidence is there. Watch each state agency, Trinidad and Tobago, defense force what, with 1% of a particular ethnic group. The police service with 5% of a particular ethnic group and the public service across the board, Mr. Allen, I know you will fix this country, and I know you don't like this injustice. Like you will that. fix the country. Like Keep up the great work. Keep and using your knowledge you know and what? common sense you to make what? this place a better The caller is not, the caller is not a racist. He's right. The caller is not a racist. He's right. The caller is not a racist. And it's not a race we push in here, but he's right. Every creed and race must have an equal place. Everybody must treat it um, fairly. When the shout the Baptists have the day, they must be respected. Don't make fun of them. Like recently, I, I, I call a man and I tell him, I say, you can't make fun of somebody baptizing a man. And this man saying, what do you see? And baptizing him three times. I say, what do you see? What do you see? I see you trying to drunk me. You can't do that. You can't. And I call them. I say, hey, you can't do that. I call them. I said that, that we're trying to disrespect religion. What is your problem? Just so, what is your problem? What is your problem? You do, you can't do that. And when the world come, you can't do that too. You can't make fun. You can't. You can't take the break. You can't mash up people, John D and all kind of thing. You can't do that. You can't tell away people parasite that you have views if you don't want to eat it, don't eat it. But have respect. You understand? When eat come, you can't. You, you can't make silly statements. I wouldn't walk in my, f I, I got friends who are Muslim, I wouldn't walk in the mosque without shoes, I wouldn't do that. And let me tell you something, I have gone to many crime scenes, and I will never, 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 I can remember A.V. Drilling, he had his pundit and him living close proximity to where he lives. 
And I tell the man, I say, the man is upon it. He and his wife, great people. And I tell him, I say, Mr. Man, I come up here, I eat a chicken roti, you know. So me already want to go inside your Monday and thing. I just tell you now, you know, I just, I back back, as they say, I, I back back. I have respect. I don't play with them thing. It are two people I know in my life who pull out people John Lee. At the end of the high, when up to now, them, them working NP, you know. You know what's NP? No place. Up to now, they, they, them can't catch yourself, you know. That's certain things. You don't interfere with people thing. If that is your God, that is your God. If Jesus is my God, and Hindus, you have your God, Muslim, you have your God, to each his own. Respect everybody and treat everybody free, fairly. And I, as a Christian, I don't like when I see people vandalize the temple and the, the Hindu things. And things. That's not nice. I totally condemn that. And I totally agree with the Mahasabha. It is an act you must condemn. Because I could show you all who chose acid on Amurti. Who does that? Who does that? Who will go in a temple, a mosque and break it and, and breaking and break the mosque? Who will go outside of a mosque and shoot people? Who does that? Evil people. Who will go in a church and, and, and steal our tithes and offering in the box? Who will do that? But, that's, is, but then again, we are strong people. You all are strong people. Muslim community is strong people. Hindus are strong. Christians are strong. We will get up, we will regroup and move again. We got fixed back the door. Everybody got put up on there. We got buy we do and move again. People who burn down the raw one, everybody got come up and they pop money. We got bill it up and we got move again. But these act must be condemned to the, at the highest level. You understand? We're going to take a fast break. When we come back, I will tell you more about that shooting in Capuchima. Let's take a fast break. Are you in search of affordable, high-quality wrought iron hollow section steel sheets, wheels, banquet chairs, tables, aluminum stages and more to elevate your next project? Look no further than Homeland Marketing. Located in Montreal Shikwanas, Homeland Marketing, beautifying homes. Thank you friends and avid viewers as you continue to support Crime Watch via our PayPal and FCB account. Support Crime Watch with a minimum donation of $5 from anywhere in the world. Donate via our PayPal, oneen.allen at gmail.com or wire transfer to FCB account 1898739 with the SWIFT code. Be a part of the movement. Attention all bakers, doubles vendors and roti makers. Try our high quality bromate free all purpose and whole wheat flour. Low price and conveniently packaged in 2 pounds, 2 kg, 10 kg and 25 kg bags. For wholesale and retail prices, contact Chikmicho Limited at 665-3336 or 4808715 or visit us at Warrenville Canopia. Chikmicho Limited, quality you can trust. Now opened at our Montrose Shogunas branch, Tire Clinic's Truck Tire Department, with a faster tire changer, the largest service bay to facilitate all your heavy equipment needs. We carry tires for cars, motorcycles, or get your alignment done all at one spot. Call or visit us today. October is here with PSL deals priced so low all month long. Get the Telepasta Cuts 4 for $19.95 Creamery Ice Cream 1 Gallon 2 for $1.19.95 Mandy Soup It Up 4 for $19.95 Santa Rosa Vienna Sausage 4 for $19.95 Swiss Mambo Sauce 2 for $29.95 Turbo Benny 2 for $24.95 Stella Rosa Wine 750ml only $99.95 Caribbean Mimosa and Group was $86.95 now $73.95 Fair Toilet Paper 6 Pack 2 for $19.95 Happy Mac and Cheese 3 for $19.95 It's Breast Cancer Month Early Detection is the best solution. Secure your chances to win one of 10 mammograms with the purchase of pink label products from featured brands. Three convenient locations, one in Rio Claro and two in Mayaro. SNS Passat, loyal to local. Thinking of giving your home that modern finish? Then visit ABC Bar Doors and Windows. We are the largest supplier of hardwood finishing goods. Get kitchen and pool tiles, faucets, doors, windows, sinks and so much more. Come in or give us a call. ABC Bar Doors and Windows, always a better choice. 
Discounts Bright Ideas Festival of Discount Sale. Illuminate your home with up to 75% off selected items. Enjoy unbeatable deals. 10 to 30% off ornaments. 30% off selected linens and curtains. 25 to 50% off selected flowers. 25% off lamps, clocks, and mirrors. 25% off as seen on TV items. 50% off paintings. 30% off selected bakeware, dinner sets, and kitchenware. 25 to 50% off religious ornaments. 75% off lights and chandeliers. But hurry, the Festival of Discount Sale is here for a limited time only. Bright Ideas, located at Point Fortin, Princess Town, Rio Claro, Maribel, or Gulf City Mall, and coming soon to Curep. Bright Ideas, bringing happiness home. Neo Eyewear presents its latest designer eyewear collection. Come in and see our new arrivals of Versace, Giorgio Armani, Michael Kors, Coach, Ray-Ban, Kate Spade, Fossil, Marc Jacobs, Boss, DKNY, Nine West and much more. Call us at 390-3196 or 672-5052. Find us on Facebook. We carry one of the largest selection of spectacle frames in the country, over 1,300 frames to choose from. Are you diabetic, pre-diabetic, or at risk for diabetes? You need Berberine Plus by Aja Nutrition. Two doses a day keeps the blood sugar at bay, cholesterol levels in check, and your immune system strong. Made with ancient Ayurvedic ingredients, Berberine, bitter melon, and banana leaf, Berberine Plus is clinically proven to improve glucose metabolism, enhance insulin sensitivity, and slows glucose absorption in the gut. Berberine Plus, providing a natural path to a healthier you. Pick up a bottle today at Pennywise and all leading pharmacies nationwide. Celebrate this Diwali in elegance at Rhythms of India. Get a wide range of ethnic clothing at amazing prices. Outfits for adults, children, jewelry and more. We are open daily 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Located in Grand Bazaar and South Haven Mall daily. This October, it's anniversary month at Costcutter Supermarket. Get daily specials, giveaways, and product sampling. You also have a chance to spin our big wheel and win amazing prizes. Enjoy the anniversary madness this entire month at all locations nationwide. San Grande, Colupia, Pinal, El Dorado, and Scarborough Tobago. Costcutter Supermarket, the home of more for 10. Welcome to Queenie's Palace, a beautiful villa situated in Davenport, Florida. A home away from home, minutes away from Disney attractions, relaxing pool and all amenities to accommodate eight persons. Visit our website or give us a call to book your stay. This Diwali season, shop at Classic Tiles Limited for all your home renovation needs. We have the largest variety of porcelain, ceramic and clay tiles at unbeatable prices. See our specials on kitchen and bathroom accessories, mosaics, SPC flooring and much more. Visit our showroom at number 64 Endeavor Road, Shagornas where you can shop in safety and comfort. Follow us on social media for updates on special deals and new arrivals. Shub Diwali from the management and staff of Classic Tiles Limited. Are you looking to give your home or business a modern natural look? Let Stonehouse turn your imagination into a reality. We supply, install and maintain all natural stone products. Give us a call, find us on social media or visit our showroom. Stonehouse, we give you a lifestyle to envy. Now this is Radical Trading. You know that? And them have everything to cover anything. Radical Trading have the best fabric designs for your poster in needs. Yeah, the furniture, car, boat, tent, even material for school bags. This one looks really nice on my couch, boy. They even making pillow too. Sprang. Oi. Oh, shucks, I forget my money. Serious? They could pay for it for me. Me and my big mouth, boy. I want a Radica get thing to cover mouth yet. Radica Trading for locations nationwide. Sukai's Diesel Service brings you outstanding and exceptional quality. We carry original parts, diesel pump and injector overhaul, diesel pump and injector testing, Machine shop services, complete diesel engine overhaul, engine dyno testing, turbocharger repairs, government approved vehicle inspection station one. We are the premier source of all things diesel. Call us today for an appointment at 671-0900. If it's diesel, it's Sukai's Diesel. Step into a world of opportunities at CTS College, where education is beyond academics. 
winner of over 50 world prizes, as well as ACTT Student Service Award. It's a college of your choice for quality education, guaranteed to unlock your true potential. Internationally recognized degree programs. Choose a degree that is right for you. Come in for your free career guidance session and start your future today with CTS College. Is your business or company not making money? That's because no one knows about you. Advertise on Crime Watch, the number one show, and watch your business transform. Call us at 294-4081-225-4327 or 225-3250. Welcome to Ferguson Optical, your one stop for eye care. We provide free eye exam and free frames for all. Free sunglasses or hampers, 20% off lenses, payment options available, eight location nationwide. Come in or give us a call today. Experience Diwali with cravings for saving sale at Versace Deep Food King. Shop now and save on over 300 incredible deals on Coca-Cola, 2 liter, 3 bottles, now $25. Nescafe Coffee, 200 grams, 1 bottle, $54.99. Golden Brand Margarine, 225 grams, 3 sticks, now $16.99. Fresh Harvest Frozen Pigeon Peas, 14 ounce, 2 packs, now $28.99. Sir Cream Cleaner, 2 bottles for $25. Chubby Soft Drinks, 3 cases, now $95. Country Prime. All purpose 2 kg flour, 2 packs now $30. Nestle Proudland Milk, 1 liter, 2 packs $24. Fresh Harvest Sweetened Condensed Milk, 1 kg now $21.99. Country Pride All Purpose 10 kg flour, now $77.99. Nestle Green Butterfly Evaporated Milk, 250 ml, 3 packs now $18. Fresh Harvest Soybean Oil, 1 gallon for $59.99. Large Grain China, 400 gram, 2 packs for $17.99. Crown Parboiled Rice, 4 kg, 2 packs. $59.99. Creamery ice cream, two gallons for $99. Hurry, the cravings for saving sale ends on November 15th, or while stocks last. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Um, just a second. So, I just, I just wanted to tell you about the shooting at the Awakened Carpet Chamber. Claim the lives of three men and injured three others. The deceased were identified as 30 year old Keston Lawrence, also known as Big Shane of Lamon Street, London, and 32 year old Dwayne Charles of Enterprise, Shogunas. All right, so we have the three photographs. Francis Monroe of Arena Freeport. Do you know these men? Really, really sad. Really, yeah. It's a bit, I think this is Francis Monroe, and the other is Dwayne Charles and Keston Lawrence. This is, now this is a triple murder. This is, imagine ladies and gentlemen in this two by two place. Not a, not really a two by two, a one by two, lot. <laughs> one by two. This is a one by two place. We have six triple murders for the year already. Six triple murders for the year already. And our murder total is 473. Six triple murders for the year. But when you talk, you're political. As somebody said, look at um, Ari Perro. Somebody was telling me that their landlords setting up the rent and property tax have not been implemented as yet. The law, you know, and there are people taking advantage of it. I tell you, this is a real unfair place, you know, people are unfair. They already started to set up their bill. We need to get a proper, a proper document from RIC to calculate and show your tenants how. You know, you, know you have to be nice. You can't just come up and don't show them and show your landlord. Look, if I was paying 500 and I have to pay eight or whatever, show me, show me a document so we can calculate it. So we'll have a ballpark where we have 300 extra, we have to pay no problem. But don't try nothing, don't do that. Be nice, you gotta be nice, okay? And even with property tax, there are a lot of, in, somebody was telling me in Arapero that people selling up their rent and whatnot, and they already adjusting their, their, their rents and whatnot. Now, the last triple murder that took place in this country was on the 2nd of May, when 40-year-old Brandon Charles, 43-year-old Dale Alexander, and 57-year-old Brian Perus were killed at Webster Bar. Now, one of the boys, ladies and gentlemen, that was shot at is some enterprise. His car was shot up already. Yeah. Do you know, ladies and gentlemen, that an attempt murder, they attempted to kill him already, that fellow called Dwayne, from that triple murder today. Yeah, a couple months ago. 
They spray down his car. They spray down his. They spray down his car. Yeah. A couple of months ago, they tried to kill him, and that boy not on nothing, you know. He might be relative of a young person. He might be a relative of somebody who is known. I know the person too. Everybody know the person. But that is sad. That is really sad. That is sad. That is sad. That is really sad. Also, ladies and gentlemen, one man is dead and two others injured, falling and shooting in Grandy also today. The deceased was identified as 22 year old Jesse Kevin, while the skeet, while the injured victims were identified as 20 year old Terry Kerr and 24 year old Malik Campbell. Around 2.15 this morning, the trio was in Campbell's yard at Road 5 Northeastern Settlement, Sandy Grandy, celebrating his birthday when gunman fired a volley of shots. Skeet sustained a gunshot injury to his chest, curled to his lower back, and Campbell was grazed. So, some, um, Campbell was celebrating his birthday. One of them was celebrating their birthday. Campbell, but Campbell is alive, right? Yeah, but nevertheless, his friend Jesse Kevin died. Really sad. This is the house. What is craziness? The people are going away. They buy their house, celebrating. They might cook up a little food, have a little bottle, having drinks. People need to understand the culture. Normal people, there. everybody don't understand. You know, people don't understand. And there's the bullets and whatnot. The holes. I tell you, they're not playing. They're not playing. They're not playing. And, they, and they, you know, they must be haunted down. These criminal elements must be haunted down. And they must be dealt with, whether you like it or not. They must be haunted down and dealt with. Open up the lines. I call it good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Mr. Allen, good night to you, sir. Good night. Talk to me. Um, once again, I know I always tell you you're doing a fantastic job. Continue the work. But people like you, sir, Mr. Allen, that you know, could help solve the problem in this country, you know, the this administration free to do it. You know why? Because you will shine them up. You understand? And then go look bad. Mr. Allen, that incident happened last night there with the, with the, with the, with the murder that shooted up down in my area here. I was lying down in my, I lie down in my bed and I hear that and the dog inside the back. You understand? And it, it have a scene is when it come to your area, then you just try to, yeah. to, to talk and try to make a, a difference. People in this country have to understand, Mr. Allen, that they have to come out and do something. Do something because you're hearing, I hear this now the Mr. Allen saying about, about how them landlord and the raising the rent and the property tax and raise yet. That will go to advantage advantages in this country. Now, next thing again, you hear the Prime Minister defending, he say the, con the, the government cannot pay the subsidiary to the, to, um, to, to, to again, especially with TN Tech. You understand? Yeah. But I want to find out something from you, Miss Allen. The wealth of the country, who is supposed to go down to? to Not you? the people in the country, Miss Allen. So, yeah. And people in this country see now and taking that because you have a prime minister talking once in a nonsense right you. You hear the are thing talking about he he saying it have no children debt, no birth debt. 
for the year. You understand? That is what they're talking about. But the real issue in this country, Mr. Allen, they're not talking about it. And that is what's going on with our country. We certainly are not taking one to that stupidness. We have some migrants and them joining the gang in the country, doing what they want, and they're not stopping them. And next thing I give Mr. Allen, if I go, the, the, the police are them stopping law abiding citizens and, 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 and interfere them while they're driving. But the migrants and them who drive in the vehicle, Mr. Allen, they're not Stopping them at all. You know why? You know why? Because they're saying, boy, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? But the law required ni um, 90 days. If you come and you have ID, ID from me, the, and they give you it, 90 days. But then past 90 days, and they're doing one thing and one thing. So the country today has to understand that Mr. Allen, like you so, has to stand up and we have to fight this, this um, administration to do the right thing. And if they cannot do it, Mr. Allen, but they can do I want to tell this country, get rid of them. And I want to tell you something. Prasad, open, and I thank you, Mr. Allen, for telling me that. I go by Prasad now in St. Mary's. I will be one of there. Thank you, Mr. Allen. Yeah, Prasad was at the, um, the open in, in, free, in uh, SNS Prasad. In fact, they, they contracted us to do a live today, and I went down to do the live. So if you want to do a live, like you have a business, and maybe you have the islands or whatever, because based on our, based on our fan page and... We have over, come back to me please, we have over, um, just in October alone, we had over 1.620,000 1. 1, already, watch, watch your videos, so also 66 million since we have our show, and for the year, so far, so far, we have had over um, 20 million Watch crime watch. 20 million nine hundred and seventy seven thousand. That is the kind of people, that is the kind of views we have. When, and that's why so many people advertise on crime watch. They don't business about tongue, they don't business about getting the ad on other station. And they don't they, they, they wouldn't take that chain up. And so we were there. So if you want to do a live and I'll tell you next week the month is starting. Get your live, get your live, get your ad on the show. Take it for three months or six months. We already booked. Arts company they're taking us straight to January, straight to February, straight to March already. People are signing contractual. Somebody said that they're going to take the next five months because people are There's only a more certain amount of ads. So I'm just going to show like a two minutes, just a clip from SNS Passade. You can make your way down there in Freeport. So where do you want to start from? I, I, I heard that the current show, the, the current show, the office is amazing. It's right. amazing. You want to start? Well, we your fruits and vegetables. Let's right. go to fruits and vegetables first, all right? So again, Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hi, good afternoon. What's up, baby? All right? Come back to me. Hi, sir. Right, so go back there and you will, you will see that all the live and, you know. But nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, somebody asks, um, hi, go ahead. Hi, caller, go ahead. Hello, good night. Good night, what's going on? Uh, Mr. Ian Allen, first time caller. You know what I'm calling to say? Oh. I'm calling to tell you that the, this administration, they cannot live on public assistance money. They cut out food card. They, who get in food card, they cut it out. Who get in um, disability, they ain't doing nothing for them. And they raising all the taxes and all the bills. How you supposed to live? Them can live on that? Let there be no water but, diplomatic center for three weeks. Let there be no water going to diplomatic center for three weeks. The president house three, three weeks and see how they will feel just see how they will feel just for three weeks and there are communities who have gone without water for more than three weeks or somebody wanted as i just wanted to play the clip where they said that um the and i thought to tell you about the prisoner with respect to assassination the attempted assassination of the deputy of the assistant commissioner of prison, but I'll tell you about that just now. Um, this, is what the, this is what, for those of you who are a little confused, this is what the, the, the Minister of Finance said with respect to paying public servants their back pay by December. Go ahead. We have provided $1 billion in back pay for those 37,000 public sector workers who have accepted our offer of a 4% increase, plus increase in some allowance. 
we shall also bring all those public sector workers up to their new salary levels immediately at a cost of an additional $360 million per year. We are also exempting the one-off payment of $4,000 to retirees from tax, which forms part of this process. I am also giving today these 37 public 37,000 public sector workers an undertaking that all ministries and agencies involved will be provided with the necessary funds to pay this one billion dollars in back pay by Christmas of 2023. And I am requesting all permanent secretaries and accounting officers by way of this budget statement to immediately start preparing the paperwork to achieve this Christmas deadline for this $1 billion in back pay payment. And they better do it too. They better do it. Right. But then cut down from different ministries to make up the money for the, for, 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 yeah, let's cut, the, just cut down the budget. Cut it down from different ministries. But the money was allocated already. The money was allocated. And this is what the Honorable Prime Minister said yesterday. Why? A singular arrangement. First, we had other situations. Now we have this. And only today, I heard about another one where public servants deciding that a particular ministry cannot function in the government office because that public servant doesn't recognize the minister's authority to do that. I mean, something is very wrong, and I've asked the Attorney General for guidance so that the government could speak to the Public Service Commission. So whatever Kool-Aid they're drinking, better understand that we are all here to serve the public. That inconvenience to the people of Tobago that occurred there ought never to have happened. Because all the arrangements were in place for the people of Tobago to have a continuous service. And everybody who was inconvenienced by that is owed an apology from the Public Service Commission. Because these staff members are members under the Public Service Commission and people are just taking the position right, that they could do whatever they please because there are no consequences. And apparently when the PNM is in office, everybody bad. Everybody bad when the PNM is in office. I've spoken today. You can imagine. The government comes to an agreement with Utah to deal with the 4% to pay. We said, it's, we know it's not the best that, we could, that, 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 that you look for, but get it as quickly as you can and you use it as quickly as you can. That's an agreement. Public. The Minister of Finance comes to the Parliament and tells the Parliament that he will find the money and will take steps to ensure that public servants are paid by Christmas, by December. A PS is going to write the Minister and tell the Minister that that can't be done until next year, eh? Well, they don't run this country. They never offer themselves for public service. And the cabinet will not tolerate that. Come back to me. Yeah, but that is craziness. Let me tell you something. You need a PS. You need a permanent secretary. Because, you know, if, the, if, if that post is like a financer, the kind of racket people will run with that money. So you need a public servant. And, and they don't like that government come, government go. You can't just spend money just so from the public purse with no kind of accountability. And that is what they want to you know. They want to get rid of the PS. They want to get rid of the public servant, the, the, per, the permanent secretary. The permanent secretary is not the one that's made the money, you know. It's the ministers who just cut the flick, who just get, get, get a little kickback. But the permanent secretary are the ones. They will know how to operate. Why did nobody here talking about that? Because everybody would want, when they get in there, Nobody to advise them. They want that post should be a political appointment. No, not at all. 
leave the permanent secretary into different ministries. Let, the, let, let them have some level of accountability. They must have accountability. What he's saying that who run in this country? He's going to talk to the AG and see how they, what, what they could do. No. When you came to parliament and you chain up people and say you're going to get them this and you're, you're, you're not on the table, the permanent secretary said, well, here now, how you going to get them people our money? No, except the permanent secretary bad now. The permanent secretary is not the one who's lived the big life, you know, and cut the flick and go out there and, 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 and eat big and drink big and all kind of thing, you know. They are the quiet ones. They are the quiet public servants in the ministries. They are the ones who operate in the ministry. The minister got flams and eat big and do this and do that and rank up and everything. But the permanent secretary are the ones like a CEO in a corporation. You need a CEO. You need to have a CEO. Because up to the chairman of the corporation, the mayor, whoever, they go do all kind of spending. They go do all kind of thing. They will do it because there's no accountability. So you need a public servant in there. And I totally agree with that. Whether who come in power, who leave. You need that. You need that. Let's take a fast break. Spruce up your home, this is Diwali with the biggest savings and widest variety around. Only at International Tires, Carpets and Rugs Limited. PVC face gypsum ceiling tires from $9.95 per piece. Porcelain 24x24 floor tires as low as $27.95 per piece. Granite prefab counters reduced to $1,295 per slab. Commercial roll carpet as low as $48 per square yard. Quartz prefab counters from $1,795 per slab. Cushion padded vinyl flooring starting at $69 per square yard. Visit any of their three locations in San Juan, Charlieville and San Fernando. And now, open on Sundays. You don't want to miss this Diwali sale now on at international tires carpets and rugs limited the countdown is on for the greatest carnival weekend in the world it's time for tobago carnival friday october 27th to sunday 29th come witness the release of the revelry and the ritual of the road in tobago this is our we carnival this is our we carnival it's time for tobago carnival ready yourself for the ritual of the road Log Details. Tobago Carnival, Friday, October 27th to Sunday 29th. Idris Marketing is the place to be for everything that you want in your home. From these beautiful but yet affordable patio sets, trust me, they're comfortable. With a wide array of beautiful vanity sinks with LED lights, the show to light up your life. When you see these bathroom enclosures, trust me, you want to bid one time. And all these affordable original appliances, kitchen aid, black and decker, Hamilton Beach, Kenwood, oh lord, I wish I was born with more hands. They even have everything for your kitchen, non-stick pan, fry pan, container to pack your lunch. And I'm afraid to bring my mother to see them curtains, because oh god, I got run brooks. So come on down now and see for yourself why Idris Marketing is the best. This Diwali, be sure to visit the Fabinga Expo, your one-stop shop, comfortable ambience, ample parking, multi-cuisine food court, arcade for the kids, Mehendi and Spa, the fashion house of Trinidad, located opposite Medford Gas Station, Shogonas, with extended opening hours from now until Diwali, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Due to the delay in containers, the India InStyle Expo will be opening from the 27th of October until the 20th of November. India InStyle Expo, opposite the Center of Excellence in Macquarie, is opening from the 27th until the 20th of November. This Diwali look elegant with their newly imported latest fashion Indian garments, matching jewelry, shoes and even purses. Opening hours are 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. daily, closing on the 20th of November. Brandtech Limited is pleased to announce our Grand Diwali sale. Buy three Bridgestone or five stone tires and get the fourth tire free. Visit us at number 10 Londonville Main Road, Shub Warners. Call 672-8575. Shub Diwali from the Brandtech family. 
experience Diwali with cravings for saving sale at Facade Deep Food King. Shop now and save on over 300 incredible deals on Coca-Cola, 2 liter, 3 bottles, now $25. Nescafe Coffee, 200 grams, 1 bottle, $54.99. Golden Brand Margarine, 225 grams, 3 sticks, now $16.99. Fresh Harvest Frozen Pigeon Peas, 14 ounce, 2 packs, now $28.99. Sir Cream Cleaner, 2 bottles for $25. Chubby Soft Drinks, 3 cases, now $95. Country Pride, all purpose 2 kg flour 2 packs now $30 Nestle Proudland milk 1 liter 2 packs $24 Fresh Harvest sweetened condensed milk 1 kg now $21.99 Country Pride All purpose 10 kg flour now $77.99 Nestle Green Butterfly Evaporated milk 250 ml 3 packs now $18 Fresh Harvest soybean oil 1 gallon for $59.99 Large Grain China 400 gram 2 packs for $17.99 Crown Parboiled Rice 4 kg 2 packs $50 $59.99. Creamery ice cream, two gallons for $99. Hurry, the cravings for saving sale ends on November 15th. Or oh, while stocks last. Beat the heat at Kingo Limited Auto AC Parts and Services. Our techs have years of experience keeping you cool and comfortable. Exceptional prices, quality work, and outstanding services. Call, WhatsApp, or come in today and take advantage of our many specials. Santana Boy, you can pick me up? Yeah, where are you? By racetrack wheels. Boy, I went inside and I lose my mind. It's the best in brand name rims and high performance tires for so. They have specials, so I make my name. Ha ha ha! you don't have a car? Patsy go kill me! Racetrack wheels. Number 330 Eastern Main Road, Aruka. Number 64 Southern Main Road, Chase Village. And number 82 Bethlehem Road, Tobago. The countdown is on for the greatest carnival weekend in the world. Tobago Carnival Friday, October 27th to Sunday 29th Come witness the release of the revelry and the ritual of the road in Tobago This, this is our we carnival. carnival This is our we Carnival It's time for Tobago Carnival Ready yourself for the ritual of the road Log on to welcometobago.com for more details Tobago Carnival Friday, October 27th to Sunday 29th what once was glass is now plastic. You get all the benefits of glass without the drawbacks. And only Gable X packaging will get you there. Plastic application works with all the existing capping methods, so the change is simple and seamless. You get visual clarity without the fragility, as well as less scuffing, scratching, and label tearing. We do PET. PET brings many advantages. You get durability and rigidity. It's more economical, durable, recyclable, and beautiful. Our purpose is to help you profit from what's inside the package. And the outside profits the plants. Get ahead of the competition today. Contact Gable X Packaging Limited. Hello, everybody. I want to tell all your post Potters is the number one supermarket around. They can't be three prices at all. And we have all kind of deals. Come yourself and see us. Deal, deal, deal. You come and check it out. You can't be free at all. It's the cheapest supermarket. We have the best local produce, best goods, best prices, best foreign goods. And for the whole month of October, it's the anniversary specials. Come down yourself and see at any location. Pinal, Punopia, El Dorado, Sangri Grandi, and Scabro. Check it out. October is here with PSL deals priced so low all month long. Get Brunswick Tuna Flakes 3 for $19.95. Rainbow Corn Beef was $19.95, now $16.95. Eve Barbecue Sauce 2 for $24.95. Waller Farms Vinegar 3 for $19.95. Chicken Neck 3 pounds for $19.95. Erin Farm Chicken Salami 2 for $19.95. Boneless Chicken Breast $19.95 per pound. Mabel's Mayonnaise 2 for $24.95. Gatorade 3 for $24.95 It's Breast Cancer Month! Early detection is the best solution. Secure your chances to win 1 of 10 mammograms with the purchase of pink label products from featured brands. 3 convenient locations, 1 in Rio Claro and 2 in Mayaro. SNS Passat, loyal to local. Yep. Happy birthday, Brenda, tomorrow, from Charlene, and from Mervyn. Happy birthday, Brenda, we're surely best, like the picture. Brenda is our girl. Hope you send a piece of cake for me tomorrow. Okay, Brenda, all the best. 
Go ahead. Selena, knock it. Happy birthday to Selena, knock it. Right. So, 80 years birthday to Hamid and Cassie. All the best to you. 80 years, boy. 80 years. Cassie, 80 years. You look well. You look well. I wish you all the best. I wish you all the best. You know this guy who was in police, who, who was in police custody? I, mu I, mu I must congratulate um, the Tobago House of Assembly on the second carnival. As you can see, they are running here. And um, the THA on the second carnival, which started today and ends on Sunday. Okay. Well, you could run the yard for them, give them a little play. Sleepy, I'll run it now. The countdown is on for the greatest carnival weekend in the world. It's time for Tobago Carnival. Friday, October 27th. It's a Sunday 29th. Come witness yeah. the release of the revelry and the ritual of the road <laughs> in Tobago. This, this is our we carnival. carnival. This is our we carnival. It's time for Tobago Carnival. Ready yourself for the ritual of the road. Log on to welcome to for more details. Tobago Carnival, Friday, October 27th. It's a Sunday, 29th. Yeah, I might, I, might, I might be across. I might go across privately, okay? Someone asked if I'm going across, yeah. I might, yeah, we have a little plane. Uh, 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 um, might take a chopper or, or, or uh, uh, a private plane to take us across. Yeah, just for a couple hours and come back. So we will, um, yeah. So I might be, into, I might be on the island. Because we can't get flight. Flights are hard to get, but but we have made arrangement with some somebody who has a, pri a private plane and another person who has a chopper, and they're gonna take us across just for a couple hours, and that's it. I've no seen with that. Also, ladies and gentlemen, um, the death of a man prisoner, 22 year old Emmanuel Joseph, has been classified, has been classed as murder. Sorry, classed as murder after autopsy revealed that he died from blunt force trauma. This have bacchanal in it. I will tell you something, that have bacchanal. That have bacchanal. That reminds me of the persons who died on the chair, but that mattered before the courts during the Andre Barrett case and whatnot. You remember that, right? This man here was in custody of the state. They said it was heart attack. Let me tell you something. You see, this case, keep your eye on this. I have learned something. Never get emotional. Sometimes you go for a prison, you go for a suspect. Don't get emotional. Adrenaline running. Don't get emotional because it will come back to haunt you. I have seen that plenty of times. It will come back to haunt you. Never get emotional in the execution of your duties. It will come back to haunt you. It will come back. Never take chain up from a group of people to do things when adrenaline pumping. It will come back to haunt you. I have learned that. I am disciplined when coming to that. I don't get emotional. I will sit down and relax and just watch. While persons are taken to custody, they could flare up. I don't really, I stand, I stand from a distance just watch and see where there is a guy. Yeah, if you go to the back of his house, he have a gun. It don't get you to cuss and get on. You don't get on. You understand? You don't get emotional in this dance. That case, some of you might say it is good for him. Nevertheless, there is a court of law. This is not the wild, wild west. Everybody's innocent till proven guilty. Full stop. He can do what? He's a suspect until he has been tried. And then they realize that well, he's the man. He's been charged. The matter, well, the autopsy conducted at the Forensic Science Center in St. James on Thursday revealed that Joseph sustained severe injuries to the body with a blunt object that caused his death. Joseph died after just over 24 hours after he was remanded into custody on charges linked to the attempted assassination of Deputy Prison Commissioner Sherwin Bruce and the wounding of a prison officer, Steve Pitt. On Friday, let me take you back to Friday, on 20th October, around 9 a.m., while at the Eastern Correctional Facility, Joseph's body fell ill and began complaining of chest pain. He was subsequently taken to hospital 
where he died for an alleged heart attack. However, an autopsy was conducted to determine the actual cause of death. On Thursday, 19th of October, Joseph was denied bail after he was charged with six count of offenses following assassination attempt by the home of a deputy commissioner. Remember this video? He was right. But at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, that is a serious thing. People are going to lose their work for that. Eh? Mark my word, what I tell you. Eh? People are going to lose their work for that. Eh? You see that? That is a serious thing. Somebody kill him. And people, and let me tell you something. They're going to come and they're going to interview people. Let me tell you something about prisoners. Anytime you come and you, you come and cut a flick with a prisoner to come out and talk and turn state witness or whatever, they will talk. Because they are nothing to lose. They're incarcerated and they are nothing to lose. They'll come out and talk and prisoners will come out and talk. That is a real serious thing. Now, mark my word, yeah? Remember? Remember when Gary was in commissioner, police and whatnot, and persons were taken for the Andrea Barrett and he had this one fall off a chair and fracture his skull and all kind of thing. Remember that? That people get charged for that, eh? That people get charged for that. And that and I will that matter before the courts now. But nevertheless, as much as we might we might hear the crimes that they commit, we might want to really get emotional. When you're in a position, you can't. You just can't. Because it will come back to haunt you. An autopsy was done. All the time, everybody's saying chest pain. They all kind of release chest pain. All kind of this. Now you realize. Even though there are things must be dealt a certain way. They have things to deal with these, with these evil elements a certain way. Don't get emotional. I have seen people get emotional and lose their job. Don't get emotional. You don't know if that day things could turn. Sometimes you're at, you're at a point you can deal with people. You can deal with the evil. That, there are people who just can't accept and they don't know about changing their life or whatever they just don't know you understand but that is a very serious thing he was held for the attempted assassination of the press of the pro of the of the prison commissioner deputy pr prisoner commissioner assistant commissioner and shooting off his one of the one of the drivers he was one of the persons that was in custody. Now you're telling me you had chest pain. Now you're here, autopsy come out, blood force trauma. Well, I don't know how you're going to get over this one. It's a real serious thing. And he stayed looking bad. And his family will go the distance. They will go the distance. But that case, head on, your lawyers will run to that. Take what I tell you, watch and see. Don't get emotional. You must never get emotional in them things. Never, never get emotional in those things. A security guard, ladies and gentlemen, was shot during an attempted robbery at a supermarket in San Fernando. Around 8.35, the guard was on duty at a supermarket in Pine Myra Village when he observed two men armed with guns running towards the establishment. Upon seeing the guard, the suspect began shooting at the guard who took cover and returned fire. The suspect then fled the scene on foot and the police were notified. A team of officers led by P.C. Sokdale and P.C. Harry Prasad responded and made checks for the suspects but yet to be found. So a security guard was shot in attempted robbery in San Fernando yesterday. Also two intelligence-led operations led to the seizure of over $4 million worth of cocaine and marijuana at the Caricom Port of Spain and Northeastern District this week. The month and it, this month, an intelligence unit within the TTP has received information of a local drug trafficking network that was planning on importing a shipment of narcotics from St. Vincent Base affiliates. Upon further investigation, officers discovered that the shipment was expected to arrive on Tuesday, the 24th of October, via the Admiral Bay third vessel, three, Admiral Bay three vessel, concealed almost legitimate cargo. The TTP has conducted a coordinated operation on CARICOM port with the assistance of members of the CCOP search team and custom officers and approximately 8.8 .8 kilograms of high-grade marijuana 
with an estimated street value of 1,318,416 was found concealed in a box among cargo. Also based on further investigation, the officer informed the Blue Nissan Amir would go to a courier company in the Northeastern District to export narcotics. Officers of Northern Division Task Force managed to intercept the vehicle and conducted a search which led to the discovery of 2.2 kilograms of cocaine with an estimated value of 3,066,624 concealed within a wooden frame. The three occupants of the vehicle were arrested and, and officers seized the cocaine. That is very good. That is very good. Also, ladies and gentlemen, I didn't tell you, people cutting the grass, cleaning the road, a group of CPEP workers were robbed by armed suspect at Indian Walk Maruga on Friday. Also, CCTV captured a man stealing a cell phone from a shop in Bongji Road, San Juan. I can't get the man face, boy. We get the man face? Anybody know him? Anybody know him? These are different angles of his face. Post it up now for me, please. We are looking for... All right. Also, ladies and gentlemen, two men were beaten and robbed of a total of $27 while waiting for a Maxine trip. Early on Wednesday, around 2.30, the victim was standing at the intersection of the priority bus street and the southern main road. That is the junction where you wait for a taxi. Eh? When they were confronted by four bandits, the assailant attacked one of the men and dealt him several blows before relieving him of his wallet, which contained his national ID card and $16 in cash. The bandit also stole $12, $11 cash from the second man before getting into a black car, which was parked near the Uniped gas station. So you know the gas station? You know the junction, the Kurep, Kurep to Shagonas. It's right there. Kurep Junction, you go to the doubles people and everything. Just imagine that craziness. Also, speaking of, and, um, you know, I saw today that this girl who died in the accident, she would have been Carissa Dorridge. She died on, um, she was, uh, she died on what day, um, Yeah, today she was honored. Well, she was honored a couple of days ago. Yesterday, I believe. She, she died on the 14th of October, UB student, plus a person yesterday succumbed to injuries, the other occupant of the car, Dominic Cardinal. Today, um, yesterday was graduation. This, was, this is really sad. I want you to listen to this. Listen to this. Thank you. Wow, let me graduation. She's not there. Let's imagine that. You can imagine her parents, boy. You can imagine her parents, boy, to send a child to UE. And time for graduation. She died in an accident. That's why every day I get up, say a prayer. Be nice. Be nice. Be nice. This is a nice country, you know, before we go. Trinidad is a nice place, you know. But just these monsters, people who care about poor people. One day God will put us, one day God will put us where we need to be. One day God might put me, God, no, I won't say might, he will put me where I should be. I can't see advantage. They oppress us. They lie about giving public servants. They can't, they are vexed with the PS. Now you want to control the PS. You need a PS in a ministry. You need, you need, you need a PS in a ministry, a permanent secretary in a ministry. 
If that is a political position, well, boy, everybody got cut card. Everybody got cut card. They need a public servant. As much as you all don't like it, you need some, some order, some um, order. In friend and friend can watch the bank. You need an independent person. They say, hey, hold up right here, partner. I want to see how this man, how we paying this money. And that's what, that's the, in layman terms, that's what PS does. The money that is allocated to the ministry, you need the PS signature, who to pay and how to pay. But if that position is political, well, boy, we reach where we're going. We reach where we're going. We reach where we're going. And it's sad to blame the PS now to say, yeah, what's going on? Speak with the AG. But that is sad. But then again, anything can happen. If a man could kill in this country and get bail, the worst thing we, could, we, we have ever done in this country since, it, since its existence was to come to that point where we give bail for murder. As it was. We haven't seen the fruits of that yet. I bet your, your, your bottom dollar in the coming years you'll see it. How state witnesses. This month, we saw a life, we, we saw attempt on the, the assistant commissioner. We saw attempt on police officers. What are we going to see attempt on judges, prosecutors? What? We live in a narcos state. And that is why we must go after them. I do business. I do business. Because I know I'm not doing nothing wrong. I know I'm not a racket. I'm not selling no gun. I'm not selling no cocaine. Me a thief for nobody money. And I'm banking with a government bank. <laughs> and I'm banking with the chairman of that bank. Government can appoint him. <laughs> so I have nothing to hide. I might have other business and whatnot. I have nothing to hide. You know why I did that? Because I know where I'm going and I know what I would like to be. But don't worry, let everybody rile up. Let everybody don't care. And always remember before we go, the poor man had dreams. And I will make that poor man's dream come true. We will make it come true. You can't tell me the politicians can buy the best car, the best Prados, the best vehicle, the best Porsche. But all it could be is for a poor man to dream. Because you know why? They have all the tax breaks. They get the most money. But they give you four dollars. Let's imagine that. Before, before I go, the heat is on. Every day it's hot. It's super hot in this country because of climate change and whatnot. It's a global thing. But while we're experiencing that, you know what they do? We don't have water to bathe for weeks. We can't enjoy a good shower. We can't flush our toilets. Can't do that. When we think about putting on the air condition, they send up the bill. They send up the, 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 the TNT bill. Think about all that. That is not oppression. It, might, it mightn't be obvious, like what you see in different countries like Venezuela and different parts of the world. It might be that obvious, but they oppress us in a subtle way, in a very subtle way. It's like a, it's, it's like a family person being wicked to you. They're not coming out publicly among the, the ready rest of family to show, to show you what they're doing to you. But in a subtle way, they're not being nice. But leave them. Leave them. You be nice. You leave them. When they go high, when they, sorry, when they go low, we must go high. We must be better. Just leave them. Nobody cares. And I have come to that conclusion. And who vexed with me? Vex. Well, too bad. But nobody cares. And all the attacks on the temple and the churches and the mosques, they are wicked people who are doing that. It has nothing to do with rum. It has nothing to do with wicked, nasty people who do like other people's religion. Who do like Hindu, who do like Christian, who do like Muslim. It's just that. It has nothing again. And it's not an isolated because you're seeing it it's always happening. Who will go in a temple and mash up all the Murtis? Who will go in a church and mash up, mash up all the cross and all kind of thing? And mash up the altar. Who does things like that? Wicked people. But don't worry. So, ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful weekend. What's up me on 2944081? And make sure, again, those of you who want to advertise, you can WhatsApp me over the weekend on my 294. We're going to try to get your ad up for November. You have December. Well, November, that's it. This has been a hectic month for me. 
right? We have all, all, all our lives and whatnot, it's running from this month also. This is Ian Allen. Have a wonderful night. Good night. Yo,